What's up my YouTube dudes? We're gonna hit some gnar waves today. The swell's pretty tight. Yesterday we went surfing and we did surf lessons and it was we loved it so so fun We were gonna leave Tofino last night, but we decided to stick around for today to do surfing again Unfortunately yesterday. I couldn't film it because it was lessons We were working with instructors the whole time and we left our bags in the car But today we're gonna rent like when we have our boards I'll try and film some oh, yeah for sure. and take pictures and all that stuff and it, I can see why people stay in Tofino. It is an absolute blast. And we are gonna maybe stay tonight. We'll see how or we finish. What the surf looks like, what time is good for surfing and all that stuff. Yeah, Tofino's kind of a hub in the sense that it's a bit of a trek to a next town over. Um, it's like two hours away. Which you know, isn't bad, but it does mean if we want to leave, like we want to leave before we it would be getting too dark. It's never fun finding a camp spot in the dark. No, everything that looks totally normal during the day, it looks absolutely terrifying at night. So we have learned to look for campsites during the day as much as we can. Yeah. Also, for the past two mornings, the place that we've been staying at, there's been a black bear that just walks like maybe 10 feet away from our it's car. It's so cool. So it's so cool because we can just like watch it from the safety of our car and we but watch it run so around. he's so disinterested in the car. Yeah, anything, he's, he's clearly yeah. like the place we're staying staying at is frequented by a lot of people. It's a logging road and he's clearly been a little bit groomed to look for campers leaving behind food and stuff because I'm pretty sure he made his morning round at the <laughs> exact same time. So it's definitely the same bear searching for food, but it was, it was still really cool to see. Anyways, we are at the surf shop now. We're so into surfing. We can now ask about things like swell and When's the best time to surf? We know all, all the lingo. Don't want to look like kooks out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we learned that kooks are people that don't know what they're doing when they're surfing. That's what they're called. Mm -hmm. Which I'm sure will be us today. Yes. But that's fine. Totally. <laughs> okay. We are at North Chessman Beach. Went and checked the waves, they're looking pretty good as far as I know, being a beginner surfer. They look decent for, for us to go on. We're just surfing on like the whitewash as it's called, which is like after the wave breaks, you have the white waves because that's the beginner thing to do. We got our surfboards, we're just gearing up, getting psyched, it's gonna be awesome. And we have the boards for like at least six hours. We can hold on to them for a bit longer, but we'll see how we're feeling. Cause I have a feeling after six hours, we'll be pretty tired at. Now for probably the hardest thing that I will do today, getting in this wetsuit. Helpful boyfriend films instead of helping his girlfriend. Stop. <laughs> we're coming out of this. Go look at that body. Go look at that body. Go look at that body. Boards are down, time to head to the beach. Well, we just got back from our first round of surfing. Well, our second round. Well, like our first round, I guess our second round today, yeah. yeah. We went to, what was it? Chessman Beach first. And that was good if you're like intermediate, but we are by no means the intermediate. They, knocking us around. They were knocking us over. We had a lot of fun trying to ride them, but like almost every wave we just ate it. Yeah, it, it was pretty bad. So these are a lot more tame. Uh, it's, it's hard to see. You can see that old man jogging that we've seen every day. But uh, they're a lot more tame here. And the problem is like there's a ton of lessons right now and we got pretty tired. So we're just taking a break, but I'm gonna get this gal to film me doing some surf after when I go back out and, and then I'll, I'll do the same yeah. thing. I'll tag team this thing because I don't have a waterproof GoPro. We talked about this, they should do rentals, it would be amazing. Yeah, imagine if they charge $50 for an attachment to your surfboard and a GoPro with a waterproof case. Like Money maker right there. It is. We're, we're thinking, we're, we're smart businessy people.
we finished surf. We returned the boards. We're gonna go we spend got, more money. We got the wetsuits taken off, which was like the most hiring part of it all. And uh, now we're gonna grab grab some noms and chill at Tofino. It's blue, beautiful. It's beautiful blue sky, so we're gonna stick around and try and catch a sunset tonight. Also, surfing is ridiculously tiring. Like, between the wetsuit, putting on, taking off, like, getting pummeled by wave after <laughs> wave, and then also just, like, paddling and basically doing push-ups for six hours, we're feeling pretty, pretty pooped right now, so. Food, and then I sense either a coffee or a nap. It's one or the other in the near future. <laughs> I am way too excited for this. Whoops, we're here again. We also totally didn't have fish and chips yesterday. No. All of the best meals come in the same shade of golden brown. <laughs> Nap is needed. <laughs> so here's the thing about napping. It doesn't taste quite as good as coffee. So we're gonna go to a coffee shop, hang out a little bit, get a bit of a pick-me-up because we are feeling drained after the food. Surfers, I've decided, are the strongest people that exist in this world because my entire body is so sore right now. My abs, best ab workout ever. Yeah, you realize you have muscles that you didn't even know you had get sore. <laughs> We literally camped out at the coffee shop for as long as we could, but uh, the caffeine was was a good way to replace a nap. Mm -hmm. Their Americanos Rhino Coffee, on point. Oh, it's the best when you get an Americano, and it's like all foamy at the top. It's oh, mm -hmm. just makes my soul happy. I know it was really good. It was so good. I I just love caffeine in general, whatever way I ingest it. Anyways, now that we are all caffeinated and not falling asleep all over the place. We are going to head over to Yonder Beach to Sunset Point for, guess what? A sunrise. Nailed it. So, see you, see you there. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally the worst. It's because I'm still not like 100% comfortable of vlogging, the and there's people at just us. staring at me, and I just broke. She literally was just like, <laughs> "What are what are they doing? What are, are they taking a selfie?" <laughs> we tried to get to Sunset Point too late, so we ditched that idea. We're running back to the beach to get a beach sunset, because that's way better than no sunset. Before this night is over, I will guide you home.